I'll be live here with a tutorial on how to use Impulse for you guys that have Ableton Live 8 and don't um, don't have a way of extracting the each channel of sounds and I learned this from from Jared the other day that he has a video explaining how to like um, take out the signal from uh, a single instrument and spread it out like into other channels and I came up with the conclusion and I was like well let me see if I can do the same thing with um, with impulse and definitely you could and then I'm just gonna create from some clips I have here, I'll put some patterns. And the way to do this is by routing. So I'm going to take this audio, route this, and then it's not, it's here. And then take another one, and it just hit Control D. And then what you're going to do is. Do, 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 hit all ends on the audios and then just route them out one beat Matter of fact, let me see how one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. All right, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Do this one, two, And then we're going to mute this out and hit in here. And you're going to check this out. Watch. And you can actually put some effects in here. Let's put in
this is another way, and then you can put, oh, I don't know, a gate as well. filter or auto pan it put the auto pan right here to recording you can always automate all this sound and as you can see this will switch global time transpose and you can automate them over here And if you hit record, let's go and record.
whatever you do there, it's all automated right here. And record it at the same time. Which you can later on edit over here. But all these sounds, if I was to renderize it right now, say I want to renderize this whole entire clip. desktop Basically, that's one way of doing a lot of unique drum patterns. And not only that, if you was to take this, group it up, oh, wait, hold on, my bad, not drum rack, drum on group, and group it, then you take this, and you use these macros in your map up. Now you have total control of the same sequence. in here so I hope this was a good tutorial real quick one I don't know if it's of any use of you guys that have Ableton Live 8 I think it is um hope this was a nice little informative thing and I have to say thank you to Jared because it really helps a lot 
Take care, have a good one, peace.